today the list built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with a look at the docs. The list takes any iterable, and it states that rather being a function, list is actually a mutable sequence type. You can think of it as basically just a way to turn things into lists. So the first way that comes to mind that it's used is to instantiate new lists, empty lists. So here we have an empty list and then people will do, you know, whatever. They'll append one to that. And here we have a list. So creating empty lists is pretty common. The next thing I would say is, say you had a list such as, I don't know, one, two, three, four. Um, that's cool. And just know that if you do accidentally cast a list to a list, uh, you're fine. You're not going to get any error. So don't worry about that. Now what we want to do is turn things like tuples into lists. So we can wrap list around that. Notice the double braces here. And that becomes a list. Or if you had a set, right? So one, two, three, four. Um, there's a set and we can make that a list too. Now what happens with the string, right? So say we had the string, hey. Well, if we wrap list around that, that is going to turn into a list of strings of uh, length one each. So keep out for that one. That's a little bit different. Where I find list to be super helpful is say we had an iterator object, right? And there's certain operations you can't do with this out of the box. So what you can do is just cast that back to a list and you'll be good to go. Same for map. So say you had something like map, um, string, range, 0 to 10, right? And we had a map object here. Well, there's certain things we can't do with that. But if we uh, turn that back to a list, then sweet, we have our zero through nine and we're good to go. The last thing I'll talk about is shallow and deep copies, which can get a little tricky. So say we had a list like one, two, three, and we wanted to create a new variable. And now we have B equals one, two, three. And you can check that A equals B and A actually is B. They're kind of references to each other. But what if we did B equals list A? So B is still the same thing. One, two, three. Is A equal to B? Yes, it is. But is A B? It is not. Uh, one way you could check this also is with ID. So you could do ID of A and then ID of B. And they have different references in memory. This means that B is a shallow copy of A. And this is something that you're just going to want to keep an eye on. Other than that, I guess I'll just say thanks for watching.